Okay. Okay, I want um, to discuss a visualizable description of gravity. And the reason I decided to make this um, video is because from reading a lot of um, different you know, theoretical physics books, you find starting uh, with Newton that the what actually is the force of gravity um, it remains sort of very mysterious because we know how it behaves we know the relationships we know the the inverse square and so forth but what really how do you describe what's happening um, in terms of a, a vis visualizable picture and the reason I want to visualize it is because I I believe that a, a proper explanation, um, if something's really successfully explained, uh, it'll go beyond the math and it'll be um, presented in a way that can be uh, visualized. Um, and I think we can say the same thing about uh, what is um, a charge field or a magnetic field. Um, likewise, we run into a problem in terms of uh, describing the extension of the field. What <laughs> what exactly is going on in terms of the space uh, between the objects that are affected by um, what seems to be uh, these forces? Um, let me just to sort of give you an example of um, how this question comes up in the literature. I'm, I'm reading from uh, a book by the physicist um, Gerald Schroeder and um, this is his book called The Science of God. Anyways, he um, cites this question, consider gravity, we do not understand what mechanism generates mass in the basic building blocks of matter. The extraordinary, extraordinary significance of this statement by the president of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Charles M. Vest in his 1995 annual report is not at once evident to the scientifically uninitiated. We do not know why there's gravity. Why does something, anything, and everything have weight? Why do we say, stay seated in the chair on the floor rather than floating off in space? Um, and it goes on to say, gravity, um, what allows gravity to accomplish its task of holding you in your seat? and the Earth in orbit around the Sun. We theorize um, that as light ha has quanta of energy called photons, so gravity has a gravitational field whose quanta or energy pockets are called gravitons. But contemplate the differences between light and gravity. Why should Earth sending its gravita gravitons to the Moon and the Moon sending its gravitons to the Earth lock to one uh, another in orbit why should a transfer cause attraction between bulks of matter? Yet the moon floats held by an invisible tether of force generated by unknown processes with, um, with imagined particles. But what unlikely and fine-tuned principle, um, by what unlikely and fine-tuned principle does it work? That's the nature of, of um, this in investigation here in this little video I'm doing. Um, now, we know Einstein's, let me read Einstein's, um, it sort of sums up his ideas. And we're going to get back to Einstein's ideas because that's really where I'm going with this. I think that, um, I think that Einstein's description of warp space, time, um, needs to be considered further. It, it, it's just sort of... Everybody says, yeah, yeah, Einstein, warp space, and so forth. But it's never, I think, been properly explored or extrapolated or even um, extended into other areas of, of physics. Um, and it says here, this is I'm reading from uh, the Cosmic Code, Heinz Pagels, the physicist Heinz Pagels. He says, Einstein saw that gravity was a superfluous, 
superfluous concept. There isn't any gravitational force. What actually happens is that the mass of a planet or any mass curves space near it, altering its geometry. Light always moves in a straight line, but a straight line as defined in a curved space. Einstein dispensed with the notion of gravity in favor of the geometry of curved space. In effect, he discovered that gravity is geometry. That is the central conclusion of general relativity. Well, you've probably heard that hundreds of times, but you see it's not really being um, further uh, explored in, in, in the scientific world. I mean, right now it's, it's going back to um, the Higgs field and um, particle interactions and so forth. Einstein's idea is, is I think, is not really <laughs> being considered at, at the fundamental level. Uh, so before I get back to Einstein, I want to um, look at what Richard Feynman said. This is a, his book, Character of Physical Law. And Feynman cites a gravitational model. Let me see if you can see that illustration. Basically, it's the Earth and the Sun, and you have, um, um, I don't know what you want to call them, vertices of force. And basically, the way, the, the way this model works is um, the, you have like a particle field of gravitons and the sun partially blocks the earth and because there's more push in one direction than the other you have the effects of um, the pull of gravity or in this case would be the push of the gravitons um, now there's an interesting model and this is sort of one that i want to explore further now the only reason that he um, rejects this model is because it um, works only with a young Earth creation, because the what happened is you'd have a slowing effect, um, which is interesting because the you know the Bible starts out with a 360-day year, and now we're up to 365 plus. Um, so I don't think that I don't think that this his um, rejecting that on 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 the grounds of the age uh, is justified basically what it would serve as is evidence for young earth but i don't really want to get involved in that aspect of it right now what i want to do is start to discuss um, some of the visual models that i came up with and here's like a little illustration i have here basically what we have is <coughs> matter and it's drawing quantum it's drawing energy from the quantum foam and it's circulating, but it's circulating non-locally. In other words, it's originally coming into matter <coughs> locally, but then somehow it's it's circulating back into the quantum foam field, uh, the zero-point energy field, um, non-locally. Uh, and I don't have an explanation how that could happen, um, but I do think that I want to explore this further. I'm going to do another video. Uh, and see if we can't visualize um, gravity and, and rather than just leave it up to uh, a mathematical uh, relationship.